Hey everyone, welcome back to Fuzzy Logic Lectures. In the last video, we learned about fuzzy Cartesian products, fuzzy relations, and operations on fuzzy relations. Continuing from there, in this lecture, we will learn about fuzzy compositions and properties satisfied by fuzzy relations. We will also see solved examples on these topics to understand them better. So let's start our lecture. Fuzzy compositions are defined the same way as it is defined for crisp compositions, which we learned in lecture 5. Suppose R is a fuzzy relation from universe X to universe Y and S is a fuzzy relation from universe Y to universe Z, then R composition S is a relation from universe X to universe Z. Now, this composition operation can either be max min composition or max product composition. The membership function for max min composition is defined as mu r composition s of x comma z is equal to maximum of minimum of mu r of ordered pair x y comma mu s of ordered pair y z for all y belonging to universe y. This expression can be shorthanded as mu r composition s of ordered pair x comma z is equal to union of mu r of x comma y intersection mu s of y comma z. You will understand this better when we see the example question. Next is the max product composition. It is defined as mu r composition s of ordered pair x comma z is equal to maximum of mu r of ordered pair x comma y multiplied by mu s of y comma z for all y belonging to universe y. Again, this can be shorthanded as mu r composition s of ordered pair x comma z is equal to union of mu r of x comma y multiplied by mu s of y comma z. Let us see an example to understand the concept better. Consider three universes x, y and z and the relations r and s defined in the universe x, y and y, z respectively. Now we are asked to find out r composition s. Let us first find out max min composition. Max min composition. So r composition s is equal to let us write down the elements of universe x here and elements of universe z here. Now, to find out the membership value of ordered pair x1, z1, we will consider the first row of relation R and the first column of relation S. Therefore, mu R composition S of ordered pair x1, z1 is equal to maximum of minimum of poin 1 and poin 9 poin 1 and poin 9 and minimum of poin 5 and poin 1 poin 5 and poin 1 which is equal to maximum of minimum of poin 1 and poin 9 is poin 1 and minimum of point 0.5 and point 0.1 is point 0.1 which is equal to maximum of point 0.1 and point 0.1 which is point 0.1. So the value here is point 0.1. Next we have mu r composition s of x1 z2 for which we have to consider the first row of r and the second column of s. Therefore, we have maximum of minimum of point 1 and point 6, point 1 and point 6, comma, minimum of point 5 and point 7, point 5 and point 7, which is equal to maximum of Minimum of point 0.1 and point 0.6 is point 0.1 
and minimum of 0.5 and 0.7 is 0.5 therefore maximum of 0.1 and 0.5 which is 0.5 so here we have 0.5 now for the ordered pair x to z1 we will consider the second row of r and the first column of s so we have mu r composition s of ordered pair x2 comma z1 is equal to maximum of minimum of 0.8 and 0.9 0.8 and 0.9 and minimum of 0.4 and 0.1 0.4 and 0.1 which is equal to maximum of minimum of 0.8 and 0.9 is 0.8 and minimum of 0.4 and 0.1 is 0.1 which is equal to maximum of 0.8 and 0.1 which is 0.8 so the membership value here is 0.8 now for the last ordered pair x2 z2 we will consider the second row of r and the second column of s so mu r composition s of x2 z2 is equal to maximum of minimum of 0.8 and 0.6 0.8 and 0.6 comma minimum of 0.4 and 0.7 0.4 and 0.7 which is equal to maximum of 0.6 and 0.4 which is equal to 0.6 so membership value over here is 0.6 so this is the maximum composition of r and s the only point you have to remember is how to select these rows and columns suppose we need to find out for ordered pair x1 z1 then you have to consider the row which contain x1 and the column which contain z1 okay similarly for all other ordered pairs now we will see max product composition of r and s to find out the membership value for ordered pair x1 z1 we will consider the row which contain element x1 in relation r and the column which contain z1 in the relation s therefore mu r composition s of ordered pair x1 z1 is equal to maximum of product of 0.1 and 0.9 0.1 into 0.9 and product of 0.5 and 0.1 0.5 into 0.1 which is equal to maximum of 0.09 and 0.05 which is equal to 0.09 so the membership value here is 0.09 now for the ordered pair x1 z2 we will select the row which contain the element x1 in r and the column which contain element z2 in s now mu r composition s of ordered pair x1 z2 is equal to maximum of 0.1 into 0.6 0.1 into 0.6 and 0.5 into 0.7 0.5 into 0.7 which is equal to maximum of 0.06 and 0.35 which is equal to 0.35 therefore the membership value here is 0.35 similarly for the ordered pair x2 z1 we will select the row which contain the element x2 in r and the column which contain element z1 in s so mu r composition s of x2 z1 is equal to maximum of product of 0.8 and 0.9 which is 0.72 and product of 0.4 and 0.1 which is 
point zero four, which is equal to maximum of point seven two and point zero four, which is point seven two. Therefore, here we have point seven two. Now, lastly, for the ordered pair x two z two, we will consider the second row of R and the second column of S, and we have mu R composition S of ordered pair x two z two is equal to maximum of product of point eight and point six, which is point four eight. And product of point four and point seven, which is point two eight. Therefore, maximum of point four eight and point two eight is point four eight, and here we have point four eight. So this is the max product composition of R and S. As you can see, the result of max product and max min composition are not the same in case of fuzzy sets. This is an important difference from crisp relations, where both max min and max product compositions give the same result. Okay. Now a question arises: Which composition should you use, max min composition or max product composition? Well, it depends on your application. In some applications, max min composition may be giving results that better describes the reality. So we will use max min method for that application. Similarly, in some other cases, we may use max product composition. Okay. Now an important point to note is that composition operation is not commutative. That is, R composition S yes, is not the same as S yes, composition R. Next, we will see the properties satisfied by fuzzy relations. Just like fuzzy sets. properties of commutativity associativity distributivity and idempotency holds true for fuzzy relations also similarly de morgan's laws are also valid when it comes to fuzzy relations but the laws of excluded middle are not satisfied for fuzzy relations that is fuzzy relation r union fuzzy relation r complement is not the same as complete relation e similarly R intersection R complement is not the same as null relation O. Now, for those who do not know what are complete relation E and null relation O, a complete relation E is a relation where the membership value of all ordered pairs in the relation are one. In similar fashion, a null relation O is a relation where all the membership values of all ordered pairs are zero. Okay. That's all for this lecture. In the next video, we will learn about equivalence and tolerance relations. I hope that all the topics taught in this lecture are clear to all of you. If you have any doubts, feel free to ask them in the comments. Either me or some other viewer will surely help you out. If you found this lecture useful, please like the video and support us by subscribing to the channel. Thank you for watching properly and have a great day.